Morning everybody, welcome back to Valheim and look at me, I look like the absolute legend that I'm going to be. Um, new camp, I had to, to be honest with you, because uh, it was just going wrong, so I've made a new camp. Um, so from the last thing that we did, we killed the Elder and I got the Swamp Key, which is uh, that thing there. And then the swamp key, you've got to go and find swamps. So if I show you things, you've got to go and find some swamps around here. La la la. And then in the swamps, you find little sunken crypts. And you've got to dodge everybody going there. And if you're lucky, you will find one of those little red places. You know, those little red um, uh, rune things that will actually tell you where bone mass was. So as you can see, I had to travel bloody miles to get anywhere at all. Um, so yeah, it took it took a while. Um, let's get that off. Also, I am sporting new gear because I've literally in the sunken crypts, which I'll show you in a minute or two, uh, you can go and get iron scraps. With the iron scraps, you can make better gear. So you can get things like an iron scale mail, uh, iron greaves, iron helmet. Uh, it's still got the crappy old deer hide cape. There you go, what can you do about that? Uh, but a couple of new things I'm sporting is the Megan Jord. Uh, gives you look. I've gone out from 300 to 450. Okay, and you get that from a trader. I'll show you that on the map in a minute. And I also bought a diverger circlet that if I put it on, um, it's like a bloody torch. Look, uh -huh. so if you want to look in anywhere, any dungeons, you're sorted. The only problem is, uh, if you have a look, see, I'm, I'm down to 45. So if I put this back on, it takes me up to 63. I've also got weapon wise, I've got a new iron axe which I've been upgrading. Um, I've got a new, come on you, uh, iron mace which is upgraded because in the swamp you want to use a blunt instrument. Um, cutting instruments don't really work so well because there's a lot of skeletons and lots of draugs and other nasties. Uh, I've got a bandage shield, I've upgraded the huntsman to a huntsman bow and I've also got an iron pickaxe. Now you can also make a great axe so if I go over here to my new little abode uh, you can see that you can also make a battle axe I got round to that things you'd also get in the swamp is ancient bark and you get some other nasty horrible bits as well um, from all that once you start getting all those bits and pieces you start getting extra things you can do such as you can start putting down this is a stone cutter thing and um, from stone cutter I can't get near it what's going on it oh, there we go uh, you can make a sharpening stone from a sharpening stone you can then make something else and something else and something else do you know what I mean? You make um, a wheel and then the wheel lets you do things. But one thing you can do with building, if I show you the building tool now, um, if I go in here, you can buy upgrades for your forges as well. Uh, little things here and there. There's the grinding wheel as well. And building wise, you can actually now do stone. I haven't got around doing stone because um, I'm still working on that. Um, but one thing I have done is I've made myself a lovely, look at this, it's gorgeous isn't it? lovely little area so this one goes off to um, trader uh, when he's turned on without if I turned it on uh, bone mass which is the third boss and I've also got the older one just in case I want to go out there as well um, now if I flick over to bone mass here we go now I've had to make a base here because to be honest with you um, you can't transport with any of the uh, any of the metals so you're buggered okay so I've made a nice little base which is literally just up the road from him uh, there he is, dum dum dum. You see all the duns I've done. Now I've left one, so you and I can have a look and I can show you the sunken what's this sunken thingy. And I haven't done bone mass yet either, so so in it, there you go, there's the there's the grinding wheel. Okay, so that that's literally maxed out that forge. Uh you can make things like reinforced chests as well. Gives you a little bit more stuff. I've got to update him at some stage. Uh, so I'm slowly getting deer trophies, they're buggers to bloody shoot though. Um anything new in it? Yeah, you're getting the trolls over here as well. That's the iron. So you literally just chuck iron in, and unlike uh, bronze, where you've got to put two alloys together, you, it just comes out as that, which is really cool. Uh, what you've got to do for bone mass, though, is you find withered bones. You mostly find those in sunken crypts, so you want to grab those. And also, chains. You find a chain. There are two ways you, I found the chains. There's one in sunken treasure, uh, sunken um, crypts, or second one is at night, you get these horrible bloody spectery things come down. And you can get one off. You can only get one off of them. I suggest you go to sunken ones and what have you. So the way I started before I got any of the iron is, as I always do, is I leg it. Absolutely leg it around and mark up on the map where you're going to go. Um, 
and then what you do is you get ready to go in if you want poison resist which I've been making I did use poison resist uh, you can ferment it um, to start with that's what I was doing but I was literally legging it all the way through jumping past things because you get things like leeches in the water skeletons and draugs and you get some fire imps as well you don't really need to go near them you can see them because there's a, a fire geezer just run straight in there because you've got your crypt key okay and uh, life's good all right so there you go um, I'll show you where the trader is a second on the map give me a second so one thing you do want to look out for in your travels is this little sign here it will pop up on your map when you're pretty close to somewhere now if you find this this is where you find the trader what's so good about the trader you can actually exchange um, things like the rubies the amber and the pearls for gold and with the gold you can buy things so that's where you buy stuff from so it's as simple as that really um, and you make more food as well look I can make sausages they're bloody gorgeous so if I chuck those on look how far up he goes he goes bloody massive so uh, yeah we're gonna go and do a um, we're gonna go do a crypt so I can show you what it's like in this bloody horrible but you want your blunt tool and you can also have that your shield as well so you can block them because you get elite drugs in there bloody bastards um, but yeah like I said best thing to do I know I'm a bit upgraded and stuff but best thing to do is run all the way through mark it all down even if you come flying back out again come flying back out just like you did with the copper in the uh, the black forest to start with and then also um, you know just crack on that way really it's all good um, yeah anyway we're going to do a sunken-y thing I, I might take you through the show you what it's all about hang on then now one thing I would warn you is once you've got all this kit on it does reduce your movement quite a bit so if you are going to go running through um, be light on your feet seriously just be light on your feet because you, you are oh here we go see look at this look come on then attack me boys Look at that, one hit. Have it. So you are pretty much, but if you take the time, and I do suggest you do take your time to get ready. Where am I going? Uh, we've got to go. Oh, Jesus, that's a long way you go, isn't it? Oh, well, at least you're going to see all the way through. Um, my advice would be yeah, get absolutely tanked. Become the tank. I thought that deal was going to get me then. Because uh, later on, you can literally go down here and do it then. Um, watch your. Uh, watch your stamina though because they're a bugger see there's a crypt I've already done that one so there's not much point looking in there uh, but they've got a gate on the front and that's what you need the crypt key for so all good so just to show you you've got ancient trees here you can get the wood from those if you want to same again you know grab it oh my I forgot about this normally I come running in here quick uh, so you get ancient bar, there you go, easy as that, bloody old, horrible looking they are all around it. Where am I going? Idiot. So to give you an idea, you can't you can't really miss them, I mean look, if round bone mass, I found loads, absolute stacks. If you can't find round bone mass, then go and have a look around some other areas, I mean, oh, hello, look there's a leech, come here you little sod. So he's after me, but I would rather use this. And you've got to watch them because they do try and poison you. Look at that, I've got an added blood bag there. So you can use those for summit. Um, but yeah, I would avoid them as much as possible from the start. I really would. Seriously, don't don't even go near leeches if you can help it. Um, if you come off on the boat like I did, go down a little bit. Go Black Forest, go, go wherever, but don't... Is that a bloody leech again? Because um, you get hundreds of damn things. Look, there's some skellos. Here we go. There's a drow. That's what the drows look like. Hello, boys. Oh, hang on. Let's get me thing up. See, look, if they hit you... Yeah, right. Get out of here. Look at that. Kiddie time. Oh, he's a hard one. Oh, that's the only problem. Get your defence up. There we go. Oh. Come on, then. Oh, well done you. I don't really use the shield to be honest with you. <laughs> oh, I'm going to take the shield down. I think I can run a little bit better with that one. Um, look at that level two skeleton, so you can get all the bits and pieces from your skeleton as usual. There's the fire geezers. You oh, don't go near there. I mean, it's just not bloody worth it, honestly. Please don't. Um, absolute rubbish. It really is. And the main thing is you don't want to get poisoned. Well, you don't get poisoned from them, but. Um, 
Just watch your poison limits around here. Look at them. They're bloody gits. They really are. Someone's shooting me. So here we go. We've got one that's not open. Open up your swamp key. Here we go. So once you're in here, okay. Oh look, there's a Drago. Uh, I'm just going to build up my uh, my stuff a minute. There we go. If worst case scenario is, let them come to you. These don't really work so well. Oh, he does against that. It might be the uh, the elite one. I was thinking of then. Look at that. All right, use these. What the hell do I know? Learn something new every day. Ooh, get that, you big boy. So in here, you can find rubies. Okay, you find money. You find withered bones. You want these to bring uh, bone mass up. A bit of amber. They will sell, don't forget. You get the yellow mushrooms as well. Oh, God. There's a blob. Oh, get off me. See, I've been poisoned. Brilliant. And I've got to take my poison mix as well. Make sure you do that when you're with bone mass. Oh, wait for it to finish. Oh, for God's sakes, will you hurry up? Three, two, one. Yeah, I was stupid. I should have bought my bloody poison resist. It's because I couldn't wait. I was waiting for it to ferment. Get a chest in there. You get poison arrows, which are quite cool. And you get those things. I don't really bother with the poison arrows. I mean, they're poisonous anyway. Right. In here, you'll find muddy scrap piles. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to get out your uh, your lovely tool. I overfilled again. I have, not I? I don't need bones. Go away. Right, so muddy scrap pile. You'll find things like leather. Uh, but one thing you will get is the iron you're after. Oh, God, not again. Go away, will you? There we go. Happy days. Uh, you get entrails, those make the sausages, if you get any of those. And uh, you sometimes get the um, the trophies as well, but the trophies are rubbish, to be honest with you. Right, where were we? Oh yeah, number eight. That's it, my, my eighth button. So in the many scrap files, you will get... What's that shining? A bone fragment, don't want that. You will get your iron. Also, watch out behind these things, because you do get some nasties sometimes. Have a look through first. Am I getting any iron? There's scrap iron, there you go. Uh, so if I make a bit of room, I don't really want sheet. There you go. That is what you're after. Scrap iron, can't be teleported. Okay, so that's the good stuff. Alright. But yeah, I would actually, I would suggest you... Um, it's because I was lazy, I just didn't bother waiting. All good. Not sure about the sword. Never used it before. I literally just came in there, smacked everything around, ran around, killed everything that I could do, and then got the uh, the stuff, and then did the same again. So I, I literally just did this. Go in, hit the blob, run like Billyo. Oh my God! There's another blue. Also, get the bone pits. God. It's hard work, but once you've done it, it's good. Oh, bucker off you. And then you just gotta wait. I mean, you're waiting and waiting and waiting for everything to come back up once you've killed them. It's a long, long process, to be honest. And you've just gotta watch your weights as well. If you can find the trader and get that, that weight thing, it is well worth it. It really is, this thing here. Just get it. But yeah, you've got to wait and wait and wait. You can make potions that do your stamina. Um, I really, I should have used those, I suppose, really, but I never got around to it. Um, but yeah, otherwise, just, just give it a bit of time. And then carry on. I mean, 47 is not great, but uh, yeah. Oh, here we go. I really ought to get my block in that. There you go. See, there's an elite. Oh, good. Oh, 
Where's he gone? Oi, you little sod. That's because I ain't done that bloody body bloody pile. Oh, for God's sakes. Seriously? If you want for that blob, I'd run in there. Worst case, you can run out. Just remember where you bloody parked yourself. In other words, where the exit is. Where is he? Come on, you. Oh my god, it's a bloody blob. Right, sod this. So there's the exit. There we go. Get those blobs bloody quick. Alright? You don't want to be poisoned. Right, let's get that blob. Oh, it's a muddy pile. Right. Just get these bloody piles, otherwise they keep spawning. There we go. Hallelujah. Right, stay in the right place for a bit. Make sure you've got your food up. Like I said, and then you start mining again. But yeah, come in, run around, kill them all as much. Go out, go in. They don't follow you out. Well, they never follow me out anyway. Open the chest. Look, bit of gold. Can't knock that, can you? Uh, do I need any wood? No, not really. Grab a bit of that. Is that some bucket? You've just got to listen. You've just got to listen. That's all. Oh, fall in the water. Sometimes you get little piles there. You just got to just and just clean the place out. That's all you've got to do, all right? So there you go. Anyway, next time I see you, we'll be doing bone mass, which is not something I'm looking forward to. Um, but there you go, what can I say? You find these little areas too, underneath. Oh god. Here we go. Oh, you little sod. Right. I didn't know about the arrows. All this play time. Oh, look at that. Here you go. Bloody loads. Uh, do you want those? No, not really. Alright. Like I said, see you next time. Have a good one. Bye-bye.